Hi children! Welcome to Children's Sermon or Children Time. Today the topic is Lent and I still have some ashes on my forehead from Ash Wednesday. Oops! Ash Wednesday marks the beginning of the Lent season. 40 days, not including Sundays, of fasting and penance in preparation for Easter. Fasting is an act of giving up some or all food and drink for a specific time. Contrition or penance is an act that a person takes to show regret and beg God's forgiveness. We pray to the Almighty Father in the name of His Son, Jesus Christ, with the presence and guidance of the Holy Spirit. The 40 days remind us of the time Jesus spent in the desert praying and fasting to prepare for his earthly mission. Please listen to our sister Sharon Evanstadt. The Temptation of Jesus And the Spirit immediately drove him out into the wilderness. He was in the wilderness for forty days, tempted by Satan, and he was with the wild beasts, and the angels waited on him. Thank you, Sharon. Lent is a time when we should open our hearts, minds, and arms even more to God and work on being more faithful to Christ. The origins of Ash Wednesday come to the church from the Old Testament. In the prophet Jonah, a, a fast is proclaimed, and the people put on sackcloth and ashes as a sign of their desire to repent. Do you know that the ashes we use on Ash Wednesday are made by burning the palms left over from last year Palm Sunday celebration? Yes, like this. Yes, a dry palms. While the pastor makes the sign of the cross with the ashes on your forehead, the minister says, remember that you are dust and to dust you shall return, which comes from God's response to Adam in the book of Genesis. The ashes are placed on our foreheads to remind us that someday we will die and go home to heaven. The marking with a cross on the forehead is also a symbol of God's seal. In the Bible in Revelation, the angels were told, Don't damage the earth or the sea or the trees until we have marked the servant of our God with a seal on their foreheads. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, nor any green thing, nor any tree, but only the men who have not the sign of God on their foreheads. Here are a few other exciting things to know about Ash Wednesday and Lent. Ash Wednesday occurs the day after Mardi Gras in the French language, also known as Fat Tuesday. Many people keep the ashes on their forehead for the entire day. It is a sign that we are sinners and need God forgiveness. It can also be an excellent opportunity to inform others about our faith. Since someone might ask you what on your forehead you have. Forty days is often used in the Bible. If you count the days on the calendar from Ash Wednesday up to Easter Sunday, it actually seems to last for 46 days. That's because Sundays are not counted. Sundays should always be a day of celebration and rejoicing. In addition to fasting, we often give up something for Lent, and it usually something we enjoy like eating chocolate, mm, meat, 
drink milk or playing uh, video games. For example, the intention is to make a special donation for people who have not food or for homeless animals. For example, the Driftless Human Society of Iroquois accepts empty cans to help homeless dogs and cats. You may also choose to add something, like going to the service in person or online, spending more time in God's adoration, praying more often, reading the Bible, and doing works of mercy, like feeding the hungry, visiting the sick and elderly, being kind with animals, and taking care for all the creation. Invite your siblings, your parents, and your entire family to observe Lent. I am sure God will speak to you, and He will do it in different ways. Please, please close your eyes and let's pray together. Dear God, bless all the children in this Lenten season and help us take better care of all of them. Please bless the children who are in countries of conflict, war, and hunger. Allow us to be more close to you in Lenten season. We are praying in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, beloved children. God bless you.